guys! So today I am filming the My Sweet Sunshine Favorites tag, and I was tagged by Becca Loves Lip... Becca's Love... This is embarrassing. Becca's Lip Gloss Love. That's what it is. Um, she is a fellow YouTuber here on YouTube as well, and she created this tag and tagged me, which I've never been tagged in a video before, and it's kind of exciting because you know how it feels. I love tags, and if you search up tag on my channel page on, on YouTube, then... You'll see majority of my videos are tags. I just love tags. Oh, by the way, filming on a new camera. I said that in my other video, which will be uploaded before this. Most of my videos are pre-filmed, just to let you guys know. Like, 95% of my videos are pre-filmed. Yeah, more like 98, 99%. Because I never have time to, like, during the week, like, film and edit and upload all in one night. Because, you know, I have homework and stuff. Yeah. But school's ending soon. My break's going to start for summer soon. I get out. Is it June 29th? Comment down below and tell me when you guys get out because I heard a lot of people get out a lot earlier than I do, like May and April, and then they go back to school in August, which is crazy because I start on Labor Day, like September 6th or something. Section one, number one, is style. Number one is favorite kind of shorts, and the examples that she gave were denim, lace, high-waisted, or short, etc. So for these, I had to pick lace, and these are high-waisted, royal blue, um, lace shorts and these are one of my favorite pairs of shorts I own I think just because they're so versatile you can wear them you can color block first of all you can color block second you can just wear with a basic white tee like I'm wearing now and like a neutral scarf or just not even a scarf like a neutral piece of jewelry do you guys like my arm candy by the way I just I just love it like my, my coach watch and then my pearl bracelet and my bracelet my mommy gave me well it was hers when she was younger anyways so I'm really loving the arm candy trend and these next few questions, actually, I've answered in a few tags I've done a few videos ago, a couple of videos ago, so I will link them down below, the tag videos, just because I don't really want to repeat myself for all these questions. They're just, like, the next three questions, I guess you would say. So, favorite sunglasses, that tag video will be listed down below where I've said my favorite sunglasses are. Uh, favorite summer trend, I have, like, four slides of my favorite summer trends, so that will also be listed down below with that video. Favorite style of bathing suit. I will link down below my summer bathing suit video tag. And favorite shoes to wear. And I don't actually have any to show you, but it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, I really like flip-flops. I feel like they're the easiest to walk around and, you know, when it's raining it's even good for me because I just walk out in the rain and, you know, come back and just wash my feet and it's easy to wash the flip-flops. So I don't have to worry about, like, blow-drying them or, like putting all these, like, I don't know, potions to make them smell good. If I had to pick more casual, I guess I would pick, like, my Birkenstocks, which are casual shoes that are not really meant for, like, rainy weather. They're quite expensive and um, very comfortable, though, I would say, and um, they kind of, like, mold to your foot, too, so that's really good. They're, they're awesome. Section number two is beauty. Favorite face product. So, this is my second time filming this video. Um, I'm still getting used to this camera because I don't know random things happen, like recording video has stopped or something like that. So, anyways, my, fav my favorite face product for summer would probably be this Hoola by Benefit Bronzer. Don't know how to focus, but you guys can get the gist. I'm sure you've seen this before and you can search it up on the search bar. It's a really cute packaging and it says, Lightly brush the soft bronzing powder across cheekbones and forehead or anywhere you'd like to look tan. So, it doesn't, it's not a muddy, there's um. Uh, mirror here by the way. It's not a muddy like color on your face and the formula is just so smooth and oh, I just I love high-end bronzers. They're just amazing. Not that I hate drugstore, but you you know um, That's just a swatch right here. I have so many swatches on my arms because like like I said I already filmed this video. Next question Favorite eye product and I couldn't decide between these two so the first one is my CoverGirl liquid line blast eyeliner and it's just a blue electric electric blue color and I have a swatch of a bunch of swatches on my arm here because I was like I love this color I love this color I love this color so I'm just swatching and swatching and swatching BAM it landed in the bag my little lemon bag how is that even possible how did that get in there magic it comes with a smudger so that's also handy to have but I personally don't use a smudger because I don't really like the look of it smudged out, to tell you the truth. I couldn't decide between that or this eye product, which is, which, which, is, which uh, huh, huh. I should take English classes because I obviously don't know how to speak. This is my Jordana eyeshadow in 06 Pretty Peach, and it's coming up pretty true to color. It's like a peachy, it's like a light pink peachy color. Um, I swatched it right there. I don't know if you can see. It's beside the lipstick I'm going to show you next. It's like 
pinky peach right there right there yeah so that's a really pretty color it's hard to put in the crease I've got to tell you it's it's a hard eyeshadow to work with I I kind of wear it all over the lid but then it's a little bit too much of a wash of a color um so yeah but I'm still kind of playing around with this eyeshadow making it work for myself okay and oops next question was is favorite lip product and this is my Dior lipstick collection in 865 not gonna even try zooming because I have no idea how um and I'm wearing a coral on my lips right now actually this is what's it called Maybelline's lipstick in coral crush I'm wearing my Revlon lustrous lip gloss in coral reef on top there we go it's the right English terms so it's a little bit more on the corally side this is a little bit more on the ready side like not ready ready is not a word what well, is a word if you meant in like past okay never mind um this is on the red side so this is actually swatched right here it's like a pinky corally but more on the red so I just that's like five swatches because I love to build up my lip color. I'm just like, oh, you can wear it here. But no, I like to build it up. I'm going to give a shout out to someone. And this person's been waiting in their lineup of shout outs too. There's so many people in my school that want shout outs for me. I don't really know why. I mean, shout outs are nice. I mean, if you're a YouTuber getting a shout out from another YouTuber, I mean, that's awesome, right? But from school, it's not really the same. So I don't understand why they love shout outs so much. But anyways, I'm going to give this person a shout out because they got me a discount. Well, yeah, I guess you would say I got on like a discount price which was like a really good price so I bought like a bajillion things from that person at school his name is Marco so Marco if you're watching hi giving you your shout out like you asked thank you for the lipstick it's amazing and I think I've told you that because I really like it it's a really pretty shade for summer and spring and I'm happy with this purchase my favorite um body splash that says for the question or favorite yeah favorite scent is this pink with a splash Body Mist, it's like a mini size, actually my sisters didn't ask her if I could borrow it, but oh well. It's like a ruddy orange cap, and it's called Sunny and Happy, and I suck at describing these scents, you all know that, so. Yeah, but it smells sunny and happy. Favorite nail color, and I didn't, it was too lazy to go get nail polish, because I have so many. Maybe I'll do a nail polish collection. I don't know, comment down below if you guys want one, because I might do one if you guys want one, but. I don't know, I'm kind of waiting to build up my nail polish collection even more. China Glaze Refreshment. Because I love mint, mint colors. Or Essie's Peach Daiquiri or Strawberry Daiquiri. Those are amazing colors. I love to wear coral and I love to wear mint. Favorite um, like colors for the summer, spring. Three is the fun category. Favorite read for at the beach or by the pool. So this is going to be kind of... Okay. So when I'm with friends or I'm just really not in the mood to read an actual like legit book like a thick book I'll just flip through a magazine or like um, one of those easy read kind of books you know something just fun to read but when I'm with like my family or my sister just me out on the deck because I have a pool if you guys don't know I like to read something a little bit more thicker and something that I can just get lost into like that the book sucks me in and I just want to sit there and read and tan for hours because yeah, so this book that I'm actually going to show you, so I like to wear magazines, wear magazines, yeah, wear magazines, that's the new style, guys, wear your magazines, like clothes, and you really need to get those English classes, The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks, and I'm not even going to try to focus, oh, actually, it focuses pretty well, hmm, anyways, this is my very first Nicholas Sparks read, if you follow me on Twitter, you would know that because I tweet all the time, like, this is my first read, and I'm really starting to enjoy it, because, gotta admit, it starts, a little, it starts off a little slow, then again, I'm only on chapter five, but I'm starting to get lost in this book, like, it, it's getting, it's getting good, it's getting there, um, I'm almost thinking of starting, like, a book series that's called, like, Clarissa Reed, just like Allison Reads, if you guys watch Anne Marie's, which I will link down below, She's a, another YouTuber here on YouTube, she's much older than me, but she does like little Allison Reed books and the book she's been reading at the moment, she kind of like talks about what she thinks of the book, what she kind of rates it, who she recommends it for, stuff like that. So I was thinking, I, I really like that idea because I did a summer 2011 book reads last summer. I got quite a bit of views on that. Favorite ice cream flavor. So my favorite ice cream flavor is definitely chocolate and almost everyone that knows me knows that I love chocolate. Not even on, you know, my times of the month. I just, I can eat chocolate 
whenever. Like, I am a chocolate-holic. Other than a shopaholic, I'm a chocolate-holic, if that makes sense. Number three, favorite thing to do, summer activity. I have a pool, like I mentioned for like the bajillion time, you guys are probably sick of it, like Clarissa, we know you have a pool, just like, stop. So, yeah, I didn't really use the pool as much last summer, and I was, I just, I barely swam. I probably swam a couple times, two times, three times that summer. It was very, very bad. Pools are very expensive, so... This summer, I just really put my mind to it. Like, I have so many goals I want to do. I want to really get in shape because when I have one, okay, so my dance season is over right now. It ended on like June 2nd, 3rd ish. Three months, three months of not doing anything and just sitting in the house, reading, whatever, making videos. Yeah, I need to stay active for those three months because then once I get back into the studio, dance studio, I am like flop. I'm. I've gained a little, a little, I'm not gonna say a lot, because I'm not fat, I'll admit it, I'm not fat, but I'm not super skinny. I don't eat as healthy as I should in the summer, I really should be reaching more for like celery sticks and like carrots and stuff like that, just stay in the healthy mood, you know, and really exercise my body, like even taking a walk every day, biking, swimming, so swimming has really been my main thing lately. Favorite summer vacation in brackets, this is where do you like to travel to? I want to say where I'm going to travel to, but I was told I'm not allowed to yet. Let's skip over that question. I will let you guys know sooner to the time where actually when I travel to that place this summer. Just keep you in suspense. So my favorite summer memory, I'm going to switch it to memories because I'm going to pick one memory, but I mean like, okay, I'll just say it. So my sister and I go to my grandma's not often, but not like never. Like we go any chance we can, so holidays and stuff, and my sister and I have really grown up a lot um, with my grandparents at our side. They're really, really, we're really close to them, and we go to their house basically any chance we get. Um, we've had so many good memories there, and they did have a dog, sadly, they don't have it anymore, but we just had a lot of good memories at their house with them, so... I don't really know what, what I can say about it. Like, even shopping memories. They take a shopping, too. So, yeah, that's my favorite memory, just being with them and my family. This was the end of the tag. I'm quickly just going to say thank you, Becca, for tagging me. She is a wonderful girl, so I will link her down below. You guys should definitely go subscribe to her. She's actually given me the shout-out in one of her videos. Um, her Share the Love Under 1000 or something like that. So I got a shout-out for her, and thank you so much, Becca. That was so sweet. You did not have to do that at all, but you chose to and that that's pretty awesome so thank you so much one more thing this video will probably go up after the video that I explained what what is up with my hair and my makeup that I'm wearing in this video I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning this was like a little trial run of what I'm wearing for my graduation in a couple of weeks so yes I am graduating I'm gonna go cuz I talk way too much and I'm even getting tired of filming cuz it's like my fourth, fourth second time filming this video and like filmed the other video that I filmed today like three times, two times, so it's like five, I can't even count. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye guys.